What is going on guys? This is EK1 here and today's video we're going to be taking a look at Hitpaw Video Editor. Now this is a video editor that was sent to me via Hitpaw. They reached out and said EK can you do a video on us showing off our video editing software. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to tell you also some things that I feel like need to be improved and also some things that I really like about this software. If you would like to download the software the link will be in the description below. There is a free, a free trial and there's also a paid option. Today we are going to be using a full option or the full um, you know, ability of the software which was sent to us by Hitpaw. I did not purchase this. They did send me the code to get the full version. But if you do want to buy it, here are the options. Now I will say the free trial version is a try. So it has a watermark on it. So if you're looking for a free version of this without the watermark you are not going to get it here it does have a watermark but anyway with that being said let's get straight into it just click which option you want get it downloaded and then you will have this right here now when we open it it opens fast it, it is smooth you know and it looks exactly like every other video editor should look which it has the your files your um preview this is when we're doing text and video editing. It will, it will come up with different uh, options and menus. And then, of course, your timeline, which is most important. There are some buttons here. We'll go through these in a little while. So first off, all you're going to want to do is either drag your files over. So if we've got these files here, let's drag them onto this page. So we're just going to drag our files in from whatever folder you want. Or you can click the plus button and it opens a folder for you to drag stuff in. Now, these are your files. Now, one improvement I would like to see is separating audio, uh, video, and uh, image in here, but it's just all in one, unfortunately. You can sort of filter it, and it does it, but I'd like just a little put a button here just to click here. Because if I've got loads of video files, I just really don't want to have to keep closing these up and then open them back up again. Although, that's just a little pet peeve of mine. You know, it's, it's nothing, really. It just takes you two seconds. So... We've got our files. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make a video today quickly, just like a 20 second video. And then we're going to see what the quality is like when we uh, actually export the video as well and show you uh, what this thing can do. So basically, first off, we start with the intro. Although on the video you're watching now, we probably didn't start with the intro. But hey, this video, we're going to start with it. So once it's dragged into the timeline, I've got to say this timeline as well is unlimited. You can use as many timelines as you want on here. So as many lines as you want, it is completely unlimited, which is a big thumbs up for that. So we've got this on here. If you want to press play, you can press play or you can press the space bar and you can preview what this is. So you can hear the sound, you can hear everything going, you know, it's, it's all good. It looks fine. Even the preview window is a very good quality. You can't change the quality of the preview window. Usually you can pick like whether you want it half or whatever, but you don't need to on here because it's going to give you the full effect. Now, as you can see, as soon as I drop this in, we had this window appear. Now this is to edit what we have selected. So if it's not on here and we had a different file, see, there's nothing there. But when I go back onto it, click on it, we can change it. So if you want to zoom in, you can zoom it in. If you want to um, change the opacity, you can do so. You can rotate. So either by dragging this or using this to get a dead on, or you can type in how many degrees you want. You can also mirror. So it flips it. So this would be handy if you had some footage that you wanted to actually flip around the other way. Um, because, you know, sometimes you record videos and you're facing the wrong way or it just doesn't look right. You can also add a background. And the background to me is not really a big deal. You can add a colored background, but it's just going to show like this. I don't really like the look of that, if I'm being honest. You can change, you know, whichever you want here, opacity, different colors, or you can put in the hex code as well. Uh, so for me, I mean, background is, is, there's no point. You can gorge and blur as well, just the background. So if you've got this coming over, if this is a PNG, you can use a gorge and blur. Um, or you can put an image in the background. But for me, it's none. We're going to do this and we're going to zoom it in slightly because I like this. So then when we go back and play now, it's zoomed in. It's at an angle. And there we go. We'll say we're happy with that. We want that to be um, what it looks like. 
So then after that, we're going to drag in our next file. And I'm just going to drag in some footage from New World that I recorded a long time ago. Actually, not that long ago, actually, to be fair. It was the um, 8th of November. So what we are now, like the 14th. So about a week ago. So this is just some general footage. Okay, now I never in my videos leave the, the audio in the game. Because sometimes I'm just chatting on Discord to my friends or whoever. And it's coming through on the, re on the recording, okay? So we uh, want to take the audio out. Now, there's two things you can do here. So you can use this panel here, because as you can see, when I select this, I'm now editing this. So you can zoom on this one if you want. So whichever one is selected, it has the white bar, has the actual um, control over. You can rotate and do all the same stuff again. But if you just go across to adjust, you can change the brightness, the contrast, which to me is very good and handy, especially if you're doing some, uh, if there's dark footage, you want to change some saturation, make it a bit brighter. I mean, that looks pretty cool to me. You can also change highlights and, and, and all that stuff. If you're into your editing, you will like these functions. Me, I'm a very simple editor and you know I don't mess too much with these. But going back onto the sound. So I want to take off the sound. There's two options. We can click sound here and we can literally go down to zero. So it's muted. Or the other option is you can right click and detach the audio so that leaves the video file at the top and then you can click on the audio at the bottom and you can simply press delete on the audio this no longer has audio um on it so as you can see now the sound has gone off here because it's no no longer an audio file so this is the details of your file so it's 60 frames per second you know uh, 1080p which we're going to be exporting 1080 today as well and then you can edit anything you want to do. Now, I don't want my video just to go in and then out like that. I want to use transitions. Now, transitions are a big part of most people's YouTube videos. And they're really simple to do. It's literally drag and drop. So I want mine to be, um, I don't know, let's go pushed uh, up. So when it comes in, it's going to be pushed up. So as you're going to see now, there we go. It's really simple. There are a number of preset uh, ones here. There's not a huge amount, but there are some really good ones. Some of the good ones, one of them being this one. This is one of my favorites. So it just kind of spins around and puts you in. Perfect. You just have to drag that between two folders or between two files, should I say. So this file and this file in between, you'll have this transition. You can then select your duration of the transition. So if you want it to be quicker, you can literally just go down to one second instead of two and then it will do it a lot faster or if you want to be really good or really fast should i say put it down to 0.5 bam straight in so that to me is a good thing good to have these presets i haven't found anywhere else where you can download more presets so if you're expecting to download more you can't do so as of yet now we've got our intro we've got our clip you know, we're not really doing much in the clip, but the transitions there, we're in the video. Now, we want to tell people to subscribe to us. Okay, we want to be like, look, subscribe. Now, a lot of us have these, which is like uh, a template. It says like, subscribe, etc. Now, these have a black background on them. I can't find anywhere on here to take away the background and make it transparent. I may be blind. But honestly, when I was using this, I've used this for a while. I mean, for like a week or so now, I've been playing around. I still haven't found the option to take off the background. There is literally no option at all. I've looked in filters. You know, there, there's nothing there. There's no chroma anywhere. So unless you have that file as a genuine PNG, you cannot add it in without it going into black. And I'll show you what it does. It just goes black, that, and that, which is not cool. I will show you on this video now what it looks like on when I use my editing software that I generally use. I'm not going to mention the name, but you'll see what it looks like now on the screen. Now, that, that apart, so that's not a big issue. You know, it's not huge. We can get the PNG files and we can drop a PNG in. I'd like to see it added in the future, however. So if you just wanted text in there, you could literally just put your own text. You, you don't need really that much um, PNG files in there. So let's just add some text. So we're going to drag it. We want to say here, look, subscribe. So guys, while we're doing this as well, be sure you subscribe to this channel. So we're going to do this. So you can just type in this box here, which is our editing box. 
you can drag it or you can use the um sort of the uh, spacing and stuff like that so if you want to space it out a bit more uh line space is not relevant for this because it's one line opacity so you can put it if so you can just see through it uh, and the background here is obviously transparent which is what we need for the uh the other one text border you can change that you can also change colors so if i want that glowing white around the edge probably not white. it's not a good option so black so we've got that we can also rotate and change position by using these or you can simply just use the drag and change position like this and drag it so we're going to put that sort of there we're not going to rotate we're just going to keep it like this now another pet peeve or not not another pet peeve but let's let's call it another thing i think should be in it i should have, be able to have a transition here and i can't there's no transition option so if i try and drag a transition onto this it doesn't work it will not let me put a transition on this so it just appears and then it flicks off not great for me i like a good transition but hey it is what it is you can also drag the edge however long and short you want this to be so if you want it just to appear quickly in out perfect so you can also add stickers now some of these stickers are text so like it will say nice for example and what it will do is it will come up on your screen and it will be animated so you will have this animated text only on some of these though so it'll pop up like you're saying nice you know there we go a little animation which is cool you can't really edit that much like you can't edit what it says that would be a good option because then you could have your subscribe um animated or you can't really do much else apart from rotate opacity and zoom that's it that's all you can do they do have other things like uh you know the smileys and, and and all that stuff so let's go ahead and look at one of these so again animated they look cool you know they are good if you want to put them in the video and along with those you know there are sound effects as well which we'll go into in just a second so there's quite a lot of these you can, you can go through it's not in you know like extensive amounts but there's enough um so you can do that you can also put on sort of these here so there's some cool ones you know they look cool so if you want them in your video that is fine sound effects now the sound effects there's quite a few not masses but there's enough like your general beeps and your your wind and your um i know what you're thinking about wind but not that kind of wind but you're thinking like you know your camera uh, your clock or your gunshots so you just double click you can hear it so you can add those in as well so it's really good they're literally free and part of it again you can't download any more for now i don't know if they're going to bring that in but hopefully they do but let's get into now editing or filters so there's a lot of filters on here you can make it clear by just dragging it on but be sure to take them off because if you put like another one on it stacks so they all stack together so as you can see there i've got all these filters now stacking and when i start removing you get the general filter so that's one thing i found i didn't realize it was stacking i actually got a really good combination so i think you will be able to find some combinations with it. You can also change the opacity of the filter as well. You can always press Control Z or just go back and delete. Um, it's up to you, whichever one you want to use to take off the filters or to remove stuff. So let's get back into it. We're going to add some more media. So we're going to add now, um, I don't know, an image. So let's add an image. So this is for a giveaway that we do on the channel, which is now see this, I've got this as a PNG already. Okay. So again, we can't transition. So there's no way of me transitioning that text in. Even if I split this, there's no way of me transitioning text between it. So if I just do this, it will just transition the whole thing so like that where i really just want to drag it up onto the text here but it's fine it's not a big deal we've got it it appears and then it doesn't appear so if you've got that there we go you're in and you're out so we've gone over 30 seconds now what we're going to do is just going to split it here and we're going to say this is the end of our video so then what we're going to do is go ahead and export it now exporting is pretty easy just press export name your file where do you want to save it only two file types i'd like to see more mp4 video which of course most people use 
and then you just pick your resolution mine is going to be 1080 they do 720 1080 1440 and 4k so we're going to 1080 because that's the monitor and the um uh, rate of the video that we've done so let's go ahead now and click ok and we're going to take a look at what it looks like once it's exported now i'm just going to mention a couple of things that i like and a couple of things that i believe need improving on this software because i want to be completely transparent with people what i like about this is it's easy to use it's simple it's straightforward it loads fast and the quality of the user interface is fine you know there's no huge commitment when it comes to purchasing you can cancel at any time and it has an unlimited timeline that to me is very very good and and pretty much you know trumps a lot of the other versions or other kind of uh, video editors in this bracket now things i think feel like need improving and, and this is not me saying that this is not good software because you know it is good software it's very easy to use very simple i feel like there's a lack of transitions uh, effects and text options like i said in the video let me download more or let me animate my text let me um add more transitions you know to things like this why can't this be transitioned in and stuff like that you know little things like that such as also chroma key that is important that should be in there and then also uh, the timeline isn't the best so what i mean by this is say i wanted to like add something in the middle of there usually i would drag that away and it would stay there but it has to be joint it's like magnetic it doesn't like you can't move it away so you have to get another file and drag it in between which i don't like doing because it can kind of mess up your your whole timeline if you're doing that quite a lot so the video now is done we've exported it to our um desktop so let's take a look we're going to open it up as you can see in, in vlc player and this looks perfect it's literally flawless so far let's go into the video there's the writing the writing does seem really clear now with video recording this you might not see as good quality as i do and i take my word for it the quality is fine it is working as it should be um but because i'm recording a video onto a video i'm not too sure how that's going to pan out so there's the video it's all done overall good piece of software very basic very simple if you do want to download it it has the link in the description below of this video leave me a comment in the comment section asking me any questions you've got about the software i'll try and help you out and also let me know your thoughts on the software and also let me know what you use if you don't use this so everyone take care stay safe and i'll see you all in the next video